In the oversaturated world of modern-day multimedia, it's pretty difficult to be impressed by a viral video or an outlandish image captured from the flat-flung corners of our planet. You all know that feeling, right? There's nothing worse than queuing up an unbelievable event to show your friends only for them to turn their noses up and say, seen it. Well, don't despair just yet, because while everyone hates a know-it-all, there are still some wondrous and unbelievable sights to behold. From a bear practicing martial arts to an ancient system of green energy, here's 15 things you'll see for the first time in your life. Number two. Wild sea foam in Australia. Somewhere beyond the sea, one of the stranger processes in the natural mechanics of the seven seas occurs, and the result is one of the most bewildering oceanic invasions ever captured on film. Seriously, while you may think these bizarre scenes are lifted straight out of a 1950s sci-fi horror movie, they're very, very real, and the wild sea foam of Australia has recently caused quite a stir across the internet. Incredibly, back in 2013, an entire beach town in Australia was overthrown by Poseidon himself after the town's coastal defenses were breached, not by a surging wave, but instead a slow and creeping wild sea foam. Just look at this thing go. Amazingly, the small town of Port Macquarie in New South Wales, Australia, Australia is no stranger to this bizarre phenomena, but they'd never seen it get so wild and invasive as they did the foamy surge of 2013. Believe it or not, but the foam is created by impurities in the ocean, churned up together by powerful currents, which then cause the water to form bubbles that develop into a thick sheen of foam. The 2013 wild sea foam got so bad that it even blocked roads far inland, causing traffic to be diverted and bringing the town to a standstill. Thankfully, the sea foam is typically completely harmless to humans, but in some cases, the foam can form during or after toxic algal blooms, and that's a whole different story. <laughs> Yikes! Before we move on, smash that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell right now. If you don't, a venomous viper will appear in your bed tonight. So do what's best for you. The kite incident. While many of the incredible things on this list are moments of awe-inspiring wonder, some of them are also moments of sheer terror. Ever flew a kite when you were a kid and wondered how terrifying it would be to suddenly be lifted into the air, surging up into the sky at eye-watering speeds? Well, that terrifying moment became a reality in August of this year when a three-year-old girl who was attending a kite-flying festival in Taiwan suddenly became entangled in the tail of a giant kite and was sent flying high into the air. The International Kite Festival, which was being held in the city of Senchu is usually packed with thousands of people, but it was quickly cut short after this terrifying event occurred. Video of the accident, which circulated widely on social media, shows several festival officials preparing a large orange kite for flight, and already it's apparent that the kite is wildly billowing from the strong wind. As soon as the organizers let the kite go, it flies up, along with the toddler somehow dangling from its tail. It isn't apparent why, but the toddler somehow got caught in the kite's materials, and instantly Instantly screams can be heard as the small child is lifted high into the air, wildly being swung around by the wind. In a moment of horror, she was airborne for roughly around 30 seconds before the kite was pulled low enough for audience members to grab her. Thankfully, she was instantly rushed to the hospital and suffered only minor injuries from the ordeal. Whew. <laughs> bear with nunchucks. Forget about Kung Fu Panda. Ever seen a bear with nunchucks? No? Well, if you haven't already, then it's exactly what you'd expect from a martial artist urson, meaning that it's almost certainly the best thing you'll see all day. Also, if you're a budding comic book artist looking for material, then surely Nunchuck Bear needs to be made into reality. Believe it or not, but back in July of this year, a bear in Japan went viral after showcasing its incredible nunchuck skills for nearby bystanders. Reportedly taken at Yagiyama Zoological Park, the high-flying footage depicts the four-year-old black bear as it twirls and flails for the video. 21 second duration and we're not sure but the bear is pretty darn impressive at twirling that thing right while at first glance it may appear to be an accidental roll of the bear's paws the further and further the video goes the more convincing it becomes that this black bear has been trained for a life of death defying martial combat right while many people joked that the year of 2020 was certainly doomed once bears had learned martial combat others didn't find it so funny pointing out that the black bear was demonstrating highly abnormal behavior the world's first invisibility cloak. Sure, 
if you didn't already see this one coming, then it's working exactly as intended. Hey, when it comes to invisibility cloaks, puns are few and far between, and we've got to take them when we can. Can you blame us? For many of you, particularly you Harry Potter fans, the dream of owning your very own invisibility cloak has been a far-flung fantasy. But believe it or not, your dreams of slinking around unnoticed may actually be much closer to reality than you ever expected. Back in 2019, a Canadian camouflage company named Hyperstealth Biotechnology patented the technology behind an incredible material that bends light to make people and objects near enough invisible to the naked eye. The material itself, called Quantum Stealth, is still currently in its prototyping stage, and it's being developed primarily for military purposes to conceal agents and vital equipment such as tanks and jets in the field. Wait, what? An invisible tank? What the heck? Incredibly, as well as making objects near enough invisible to the naked eye, the Quantum Stealth material also conceals them from both infrared and ultraviolet images, meaning that almost nothing can detect it. Uh, that's pretty darn terrifying, but also absolutely incredible. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one day we'll all have our own personal invisibility cloak, you know, to hide from the invisible tanks. Yikes. <laughs> Egg sculptures. It's been getting cold lately, right? I mean, throughout the past few years, the Midwest and the rest of North America and Canada have been suffering some of the coldest winters and most extreme cold snaps in recent decades. And in this day and age of social media, there's been some pretty temperature-defying events caught on camera. Remember that craze when people were throwing cups of boiling water in the air only for it to instantly turn into ice? Yeah, well, forget about that because frozen egg sculptures are the real deal. While the humble egg has long been the signifier for scorching hot summer days, famously being fried on the asphalt by news reporters, it seems that a curious YouTuber by the name of Minnesota Cold decided to turn the tables in a frigid kind of fashion. Unbelievably, in the depths of a Minnesota winter, this brave researcher found that it was cold that the eggs would freeze in midair. Given the fact that it was negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit at the time of the video being filmed, it's no wonder that this yolky statue was the result. We suppose it poses the question, have you guys ever been in a winter so cold that you could freeze an egg? <laughs> Let us know down below. <laughs> Angat Roma. As the old saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. However, it also seems that phrase rings true when it comes to moving house too. While many of the entries on this list are documentations of the modern human condition, it's only fair that we give some incredible cultural traditions their fair share of limelight too. The truth is, across the planet, there are countless incredible traditions that many of us will never get to see. And such is the case with this ancient practice of Angat Roma, an ancient tradition once practiced in Malaysia that involves a group of villagers moving house by hand. In the Malaysian state of Pehag, a group of volunteers gathered together in order to move a traditional melee house near 500 feet with just their bare hands. Sadly, while the tradition is rapidly dying out, the melee people have been practicing this tradition since the colonization period, but hasn't been adhered to since the 1970s. The tradition comes from the fact that traditional melee houses are built on wooden stilts, and they could easily be moved by a group of villagers when it was required to avoid flooding, or simply to be closer to their neighbors. Amazing! Turtle with external heart. All right, prepare to shed an incredibly small turtle-shaped tear because when it comes to a much-needed overload of cuteness, this next entry has it by the bucket load. Back in 2019, a tiny albino baby turtle was born with its heart still beating outside of its body, and instantly, the vets that delivered the baby knew the odds were incredibly slim for survival. Believe it or not, the tiny turtle was born with a condition so rare that it's yet to be named by science, which resulted in the turtle's heart being situated outside of the correct cavity. But despite Despite the colossal risk of her life, the tiny turtle defied all the odds and is now thriving. Despite its clear disadvantage, the tiny reptile, appropriately named Hope, is a species of turtle known as Pink Belly Side Neck and was born to a rare turtle breeder based in New Jersey. <laughs> Ancient Windmills While many of these entries are modern, it seems that the ancient world also has its fair share of amazing things that you've never seen before as well. Such is the case with the ancient windmills of Nashtifan, the vertical access structures built in ancient Persia that have been grinding flour for over 1,000 years and counting. Yeah, you heard that right. These ancient windmills built in Persia are still in operation, grinding flour to be used in the local baking industry. Located on the arid and windswept plains of northwestern Iran, the small village 
village of Nashtifan has been keeping an ancient tradition alive for over a thousand years, despite the tumultuous winds of change that have affected the country in recent decades. Built among a towering 65-foot-tall earthen wall, the structure itself houses two dozen vertical access windmills, some of the oldest of their kind ever recorded. Amazing! <laughs> Overloaded. While it may be a pretty iconic sight, believe it or not, but the overloaded mopeds and motorcycles that have since become a hallmark of the Indian subcontinent may very rapidly become a thing of the past. Sure, many of us have seen countless videos of death-defying motorists overloading their vehicles, but as of this year, India have brought in strict new laws that forbids any more than two passengers on a moped or motorcycle, doing away with the iconic image of middle-class India, a child riding with their parents on a two-wheeler. According to this brand new law, anyone found committed the offense will be liable to be fined 1,000 rupees, roughly around $15. For the first time ever, triple riding in India will be a thing of the past. Hippos vs. Watermelons Hippos are astonishing creatures, making up some of the largest land animals in the animal kingdom, as well as being some of the most unassuming, yet deadly animals on Earth. You've certainly seen a hippo charging from the water and scaring off a swarm of crocodiles in the process, but have you ever seen a hippo destroy a watermelon? Hippos are the wielders of one of the strongest bites on Earth, enough to effortlessly demolish an entire watermelon as easy as bursting a balloon. Just imagine if that was a human head. Although they may look fairly plastic, in most zoo-based videos, hippos are extremely dangerous creatures and they're responsible for more human deaths in Africa than any other wild animal. As the world's third largest land mammal, male members of the species weigh upwards of 3,300 pounds and their jaws are capable of cleaving a fully grown human in half. Ouch. <laughs> Cars buried by tumbleweeds The humble tumbleweed has often been a shrub associated with emptiness and the desolation of the dust bowl prairies of America and Canada. However, don't let that fool you into thinking that these things are a solitary wanderers who roam the wasteland for no reason, because tumbleweeds are actually one of the most complicated and potentially devastating plants on Earth. Back in January of this year, a Washington state highway was subject to tumblegeddon when an enormous thicket of tumbleweed was blown in by a strong wind causing chaos on the subsequent stretch of road. Several vehicles, as well as one semi-truck, were caught up in the ordeal and were rendered incapable of driving after the tumbleweed horde covered them in a blanket of spiky thorns and bramble. In some places, the tumbleweeds were as high as 30 feet. No thanks. Cheese made from maggots Ever seen cheese made from maggots? Uh, you may want to hold your nose for this one. Cheese is no exception to bizarre methods of fermentation and preservation. After all, European blue cheese is essentially a rotten and moldy ingredient that is deliberately left to spoil. But that process is taken to a whole new level with casa marzu, a Sardinian delicacy that may very well turn your stomach. Seriously, this one is gross. And it's also labeled as the most dangerous cheese in the world, made from sheep's milk. The whey of the cheese is first left out to curdle, then it's left out in the open for several weeks so that flies can feast on it, laying their eggs on the surface of the cheese. Afterwards, the Casamarzu cheese is left in a dark cut for roughly two to three months, during which time the eggs hatch into larvae, and the maggots then begin to eat the cheese from the inside out. As the maggots consume the cheese, they cause a further fermentation process, which gives the Casamarzu its distinct flavor. As you may imagine, this cheese is so problematic that it's been banned for consumption and is now only available on the Italian black market. Sheesh. <laughs> Coffins hanging from a mountain. All right, while this next one may seem pretty grim on the surface, it's actually part of one of the oldest burial practices still observed today. In the mountain province of northern Philippines, members of the Igorot tribe had long practiced the traditions of burying their dead in coffins hanging from the mountain nailed to the side of the cliff face high above the ground. The practice itself, which comfortably predates the arrival of the Spanish, can be traced back more than two millennia, where it played an integral part in the Igorot culture. Astonishingly, to this day, the age-old tradition continues to be performed, albeit on a much, much smaller scale than before. As you may imagine, traditional burials and hanging coffins now only takes place every few years, as the tribe's population has sadly dwindled in recent times. Incredibly, the central belief behind the practice is that the moving bodies of the dead higher up brings them closer to their ancestral spirits, preventing them from seeping into the soil of the surface and instead being preserved high up in the heavens. Amazing. 
Air vacuum cleaner. In this day and age, the simple act of breathing fresh air is rapidly becoming an unadulterated luxury. Tragically, as our planet tackles the behemoth that is the climate emergency, cityscapes and metropolitan areas across the planet have become increasingly engulfed in a choking smog. From the skylines of Beijing to the toxic fumes of New York City, fresh air is pretty darn hard to come by. Well, amazingly, one designer in the Netherlands seems to have come up with a pretty compelling solution. In the city of Rotterdam, Don Roosgaard installed the largest smog vacuum cleaner in the world in order to improve the city's air quality. Following an incredibly successful Kickstarter campaign, the smog-free tower was unveiled back in September of 2015 during a mysterious ceremony. Amazingly, the 23-foot structure is designed to create a pocket of clean air in its vicinity, offering a much-needed respite from hazardous levels of population. The structure processes over 10,000 square feet of air per hour, removing ultra-fine smog particles with relative ease. Awesome, right? <laughs> the world's rarest apples. And for our final foray into the weird and wonderful world of incredible scenes, as the old saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, if you were munching on these apples, then you better make sure you're a millionaire with money to burn, because what you're looking at may very well be the rarest apple on earth. Generally speaking, as you know, apples are either green, red, or yellow, or a combination of all three. But when the perfect geographical conditions combine, then the unbelievable black diamond apple is formed. As one of the rarest fruits on earth, the black diamond apple is currently only grown high up on the mountains of Tibet, found at an elevation of over 10,000 feet above sea level. Currently, the fruits are only sold in a select number of high-end Chinese supermarkets found only in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Have you guys ever witnessed a coveted black diamond apple? Let us know. Well, there we have it. 15 things you'll see for the first time in your life. What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.